Now that looks like a dude who's ready for adventure. And with one taxi drive lid in, <laughs> we're on one. Welcome to Sentosa. This place has come highly recommended from you guys in the comments, so thank you. As apparently, this is the place to have fun. And as you know, my name's Tom. I film every single weekday of my life, put it on the internet for your faces, and I do indeed like to dabble in a little bit of fun. Oh boy, I'm starting to wonder if there's enough time in the day to do all this. We can go to all these different locations, but we can go to the southernmost point of the continent of Asia. Okay. Down for adventure, but I'm also down not to sunburn anymore, so I'm gonna cream up. You did not need to know that. What do you think of the adventure so far, Alfie? Hmm. He is out of it, but Lydia, I have located something epic that you might have to go and try. They have a luge. At first, I thought it was just a cable car, but then I realized they're wearing helmets and they've got sleds behind them. Is that when we went to Canada? Oh. oh. Let's just put roller coasters on pause for a second and let me show you the beach location that's just casually on our doorstep right now. Absolutely stunning. And then off in the distance, there's um, container ships just cruising on by. You know, it just adds to the, the tropical vibe. Not sure if that sound is like tropical animals in the trees, like cicadas, or it's the massive electrical unit behind it. But either way, ambiance to the Emerald Pavilion where everyone's just sleeping. Can you see it? There's a yeah. fucking, there's a Komodo dragon. Holy fuck, what? Oh my God, no, tourists, piss off. Stop scaring him off. No, 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 no. Running my flip flops, running my flip flops, running my flip flops. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, what on earth are you? Oh my goodness me, look at the size of that thing. Are you gonna chase me or are we friends? Wait a second. I swear they've got one of you. You're not a Komodo dragon, but I swear they've got one of you in Swell Reptiles in the UK. I'm gonna to attempt to get a photo with you. Don't attack me. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of it. Oh my, I can't, I just saw it in the road. I thought it was a dog. Wow, that is so cool. Look at it. Hey there, grumpy girls. Oh my gosh, there's ants everywhere. Look at all the ants. Oh, we're proper in with nature. Um, I would assume that would, yeah, it does the, it does the tongue thing. That, I need to work out, what, I'm going to take a picture of it and find out what it is. Shout out to the built-in Apple feature where if you take a picture of something, it's got this I question mark that you can like info press and it, you can do it for like trees and plants and animals. It's a monitor lizard and I'm 99% sure they've got one of them as well, but a lot smaller. So is that an animal I should try and catch or should we just, should we leave that one? No, uh, yeah, I know, but I always like to try and catch lizards, don't I? Shoot, yeah. Okay, I, yeah, I, I'm not too bothered about infections or anything, mate, or losing a finger, so you go down your drain. Like, what is that about? Imagine just looking down your drain and seeing him coming up your fucking toilet. <laughs> but, bro. That lizard is only there, there in that post, and I saw it walk along this road. Imagine just being sat there on that bench and it just cruised past you. You'd just be like, a day up, Mr. Beast is indeed everywhere. I'm all for that. That is actually something I have never done before in my life. And I'm down. Bungee jump incoming. Let's see if they've got any availability. <laughs> oh, you do it into the pool. Why did you get wet? Oh, this is definitely happening. Did you just do it? Yeah. Yes, I'm gonna do it now. Yes. I'm so sweaty as well. I swear I'm not nervous. I've got my QR code. I'm gonna give all my belongings to Lydia. And then I've just got to go up these stairs. All right, if this is the end of everything, and for some reason, um, my verbal will is everything goes to Alfred. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> hey little dude, you're about to watch dad jump off a ledge and hopefully not go into the water. I obviously can't take anything with me, so it's over to Lydia Cam to film me doing something stupid. <laughs> Say bye to daddy. Goodbye my boy. I know you knew. Honestly, never done it. 13 times skydiving. Never done a bungee before in my life. You're gonna get a big wedgie. Wedgie incoming. Should I go first? I just, I bounced back up on water, just poured that on. Well, let's hope it's only water. <laughs> you are the greatest excuse because if you weren't here, your daddy would make me do it too. Yes, he would. So if I'm right in saying, I think it's that ledge there that he's gonna come from and hopefully come straight down. This is how high up it is. I'm trying to look if it's Tom and my neck's like this. Oh my gosh, he's there. Can you see him? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Open eye. 
feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Can't make colors collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Oh my gosh <laughs> Dude, that is terrifying Do a bit more, you get it to us here Perfect, brother Look forward, arms all the way to your side How are you feeling, man? Actually, kind of nervous. Nervous is good, bro. Right, then straight, look forward. Take a deep breath in. Let me go, brother. Yeah. Three, two, one, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. How was it? That was insane. Honestly, one of the crazy. I've done skydiving so many times, but that was terrifying. That was terrifying, but fucking awesome. All right, good hey, job. Last two shots. Yeah. Make the most of it. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Honestly, if they if they would have just let me jump by myself, I'd have been up there for ages. But he was like, "Yep, see ya," and, he, and then they pushed me, and then they did the a whoa, 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 whoa thing as if it were attached. Didn't even bother me, but you've got to try it. No, I'm alright, babe. Thanks. It's insane. Oh my gosh, I'm like shaking. Wow, that was just amazing. And then because I paid for the media. Oh, they put it together. Oh, this is sick. Man, my eyes look like super bloodshot. Dude, <laughs> that is terrifying. That is terrifying. Honestly, it's so much easier just to jump out of a plane. How is that even a statement? Whoa! <laughs> That is so sick. Oh. <laughs> Dude, the actual edit on this is sick. The slow-mo of me just looking terrified. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you so much. That was so good. Yes. That is what it's about. Oh my gosh. That was phenomenal. I'm trying to convince Lydia to do it. I'm like, come on. Come on. And she's like, no, I've got to respond be responsible. I've got a child now. Alfie, do it with a tandem. Do it. Do it. Do you know how they secure you to it? They put towels around your legs and just rope. It's like the most sketchiest thing. Not like it's unprofessional because it's the real way to do it. But honestly, it is it, it is slightly terrifying. I can't believe I can go and do it again for like only $30. So like 20 pounds. But honestly, the pressure of when you go down and land... All the blood just like rushes to your eyeballs. And honestly, I feel like if I do it again right now, I'll probably pass out on the way down and I'll just turn into a floppy mess. So I think I'm just going to do it the first time and say, Singapore, you are absolutely epic. Okie dokie, Jones. Let's see what else this place has to offer. Get me some shade because it is hot. Look at this guy. He was just behind me watching my video of me jump. <laughs> so epic. Me? You were like a lot. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> now this, this is this is going on holiday. We've got the beach in front of us and a service button that if you press, you can order some food, drinks, and of course, there's a Singaporean pigeon. You can't write this. I did the uh, the bungee jump and it was amazing. And then they've got this swing which I wanted to do, but Lydia was like, "Oh, I can't do that just yet. Can't risk my life either." But these guys just did it. Yeah. Absolute yeah. legend. Give us a fist bump. There you go. Yeah. And they've just subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much. Look at that. I gave myself some new views from Singapore. This is my first time getting Alfie ready for the beach. Yeah. I, uh, hey. I know. You ready? There's your arm here. Look at you. Mummy so bought to everything too big for him. Look at him. Oh my gosh, he's a little sailor. Adventures out there. Look at him. Stop trying to steal my light. Look at him. He just always loves the lion. 
Come look at the lion. Where's mommy? Wow, we ready to go in? We ready to go in? Look at this hot tamale. Look at this little dude. Yeah. I know, I am one very lucky dude. They're heading to the beach and it's time for me to pull off a Mr. Bean and take these off. <laughs> Job done. Alfie's been in a swimming pool. But he's never been in the ocean and he's smiling. You ready? Is it warm? Oh my gosh. That is not bad. Not bad at all. Dead end. Dead end. Oh yeah, is there sharks here? Hope not. Dead end. Oh, he's in. He's slightly in. Oh, he's in. He's swimming in the ocean. He's with his species of a little turtles. <laughs> oh. I literally just put some cream on and it's literally just coming straight off. So put it on just before you go away. Because I didn't want to get burnt and then I realised I'm already burnt. So bollocks to it. Hey. Hey, where are you? Oh. <laughs> He's your daddy so funny. Boo! <laughs> His first ever beat in Singapore, out of all places, where his dad first ever bungee jumped. <laughs> What a, what a Look trip. at your little toes in the water. <laughs> what a little dude, man. Yay! Are you having the best day? Yes. Yeah. Are you having the best day? <laughs> <laughs> We've not actually told you guys this. We've got a little shark on our hands because Alfie has actually got his first tooth coming through. So, unlucky Lydia, because he bites her the most, but on his, on his gum there, he's got his first ever little tooth. It's like a razor blade. He's a piranha. And he lives in the and Amazon. And he lives in the Amazon. Everyone on the beach is like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> Lydia said there's stingy things in here, and I swear I just got stung by something on the back of me. Is there a jellyfish in here I should know about? Because some bastard around here just pricked me. Now for the impossible task to get all the sand off us. It's just not happening, is it? <laughs> This is the one thing I dreaded about having a baby is going to the beach and getting sand all over them. Well. What? You meant to put like talcum powder in a sock or something. What? And it, it gets it all off. Oh, flip it right. Come on then. Well, unfortunately, we don't have talcum powder. But they do have a shower we can use here. And I am calling it mission successful. Alfie's ready to go. Lydia's dancing. And the bungee jump has been amazing. But we out of here and away from the copyright music. Am I right in saying we're heading to Chinatown now? Yeah. <laughs> I should do. But we're going to Chinatown for some amazing food. But... Lydia's just spotted this, a World War II pillbox. And these were installed for the Japanese invasion. But the southern beaches where we were never actually got attacked. A little bit of history for you there. Ain't no shot. There's monkeys here somewhere. I must catch one. I knew it. I just knew you'd want one. There's no way when we walk past this, I was like, she's not going to eat here today. And we're getting ourselves an ice cream. Oh my holy moly. How good is that? How good is that? That is phenomenal. It's what? That's the shopping centre. So if you want the best sorbet in the world, don't go to Italy, don't go to Manchester Travel Centre. Just casually get all the way over to Singapore. That's good. Try the passion, please. Oh, that's nice, but this is better. Oh, what a location this is. I'm telling you right now, if I come back to Singapore, I'm coming straight here and spending probably four days here. There is so much stuff to do. Definitely should have come sooner, but we've been enjoying like meeting up with Harriet, going out for food, exploring like the city, meeting up with Mint. It has been amazing, but I've, I'm leaving here happy knowing that there is so much for me to do when I come back. If you ever come to Singapore, you have to come to this place. Like, what a spot. Taxi for Tom. We're now in Chinatown. It is boiling hot and look at that temple. But we're not actually going to that. We're going this way and going in there. Because according to the Michelin Guide, a spot in here has a Michelin star. You might not have thought it, but it genuinely does. Oh, I just crashed. Sorry. <laughs> it's a good job Alfie wasn't in that. One cash withdrawal later. Because at these spots, the majority of them don't take card. We've got some food coming our way. And is this it? This is the very, very good spot to go to. So I'm not quite sure what we're ordering. And then an oyster cake over here we've got to order. Salt. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, oyster cake first. Oh, 
I am a Hungarian. Okay. Are oh, you sick? Eight. This was two two dollars fifty, by the way. So this was like less than a pound. Uh, about a pound. <clears throat> it's pretty good. And apparently, we've ordered it the wrong place. The, the taxi driver was like, yeah, you want to try like the steamed chicken from the, the shop with the blue front? Let me just show you something. Notice the fact that there is um, <clears throat> a few blue fronts in this location. Oops. And our first attempt at the chicken and rice is here. Thank you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hey, even if this is the wrong one, it looks good. You ready? It's a pure Tom taste test review. Mm. What? Oh, yeah. Wow, that is good. That is very good. And bok choy. Mmm. Bok choy, bang it. Oh, wow. Oof. And this chili sauce it comes with is phenomenal. We're devouring all this food. Lydia's got all food. And listen to the noises he makes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Cornish pasty. But apparently it's a curry pot. Oh, that's a, that's a little bit strange. Is it like a dessert? I don't know. It, it tastes sweet. Wow. How strange is that? Bit weird. I'd say that was better. It is like a Cornish pasty. <laughs> there is so much choice in food that you could have that you could spend an entire day just here. You'd get very fat, but you'd eat a lot of bloody good food. Back in a taxi. And get us to the hotel so we can be comatosed. Just chill out. <laughs> And sleep for 12 years. It's not even hot, he says. <laughs> oh, yeah, mate. Listen, all that food inside me and this temperature as well is a, is a recipe for disaster. What a day. Just what a day. And here's a new saying for you. Tower three. We meet again. Excuse me? Where do you think you're running off to? Can we put a picture on screen now of your new tooth? Oh, we found it. Just in the car then, Alfie was going, ah, 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 like put the clip in the middle of us now. Going, ah, ah, ah. And he zoomed in, you can see his tooth. You're growing up, little man. Ah, you're growing up. Well I will say, I'm very much looking forward. I know I'll get tired and we'll have to carry him, but I am looking forward to when he can just run alongside us. I bet you are as well. I think it's going to be hard work. I do. He's going to be so slow and he's oh. going to want to get in his car. Pick me up, pick me up. But we won't want to be picked up. You'll want to walk and we'll be like, come on, Alfie, we need to get there. That's when I will pick him up. And he'll be like, no, I don't want you. Why are you staring at me like that again? Why are you do staring at me like that again? You better watch yourself, boy. You better watch yourself because I know. I know where you live. Well, lad, I am absolutely oh, shattered. I can't tell. Like, I feel like I've got a combination of... Honestly, if I could describe it, I feel like I've got like a full body ache. Because remember like the other day I was like, oh, my chest is hurting to breathe. I was like, that, that was hurting me a little bit. Then I hurt like my back as well. I was like, oh, whatever. But like, honestly, today I'm absolutely poofed and I'm definitely going to say it. I 100% must have overdone it at the gym because I actually need tablets in me right now because I am in just physical pain. You're, you're more of a man than me, little dude. What are you doing grabbing my head? Hey! <laughs> he knows exactly what he just did. Pulled my hair, didn't you? You pulled my hair, didn't you? <laughs> One nap later. The family is looking fresh. We're looking good. Oh, very smart, sir. Very smart again. You ready to go on another adventure? Our last, our last time with Harry. Last time with your auntie Harry before we leave. Oh, no. He's like, I'm not sad. I'm happy, I've had a great time. Oh, into yet another taxi. And this time it's taken us to Little India. Singapore is just filled with all these different diverse locations and it's brilliant. I feel so immersed in this place right now that if you were to tell me I was in India, I'd actually believe you. He says, having never been to India. But methinks this is where we're going for dinner. And it smells so good. I have no idea if I'm going the right way or not. I feel like I've walked into someone's house. But it seems I am. However, if I want to order, I have to go back downstairs, pass the welcome mat, and order here. Ooh. What do we eat tonight? I'm actually still so full from Chinatown, but I'll keep going. Ooh. And Lydia, for some reason, got two mango lasses, and I got the world's biggest kingfisher. I can't get my phone ready enough. Wait, really? 
Yeah. Ten out of ten with his dad in straight in for. What is it? Oh my gosh. Wow. That was worth the trouble. That was me just trying the sauce. I'm not going to actually try the chicken. It's not chicken. Oh, that's not chicken in it. I mean, I'm going to have dreams about that. That's all I want in the whole trip. Delicious. Ooh, and for dessert, we've got rice pudding. Um, wow. Did you have the rice pudding? Yeah. Not as good as yours, I think. Not as good as yours. Wow. Oh my gosh. You might have to get your own, mate. You might have to get your own. Sauce, mate. Sorry. Try that. I don't like desserts, but I love rice pudding. That's good, isn't it? Oh, it's... Ooh. If you're ever in Singapore, you have to come here and try this food. Mm. All right, we're now just walking through the streets of Little India. Honestly, this is just bizarre how we've gone from being in like Singapore, which is like such a mix of cultures and people but then obviously everyone has like their own hubs like you've got you know, you know like chinese chinese people in one area and indian in another and it, it truly is such a difference like you look around and we're the only we're the only white people here it's mad oh and would you look at this i was looking at the building and i've just found something about little india if you want to give that a read uh, feel free to pause it now mate th this this guy here is fixing one of those dancing cactuses that someone sent me on my po box and I feel like just saying, nah, mate, I'll pay you not to fix it for the person because those things are so annoying. I really do not feel like I'm in Singapore anymore. This, this feels like a whole different location. Oh, wait, now, now, see, now you can see, like, the big buildings. Before, when I was just looking at these, I was like, I do not feel like I'm in Singapore. Got gold and lots of it. Here's getting cultured 101. I noticed over here there was fruit and then this one, and I asked about it. Apparently, it's to, like, welcome people in. Interesting. I'll come back to Tom's Mannequin Reviews where, you know, these look pretty normal, pretty normal. Slightly terrifying, bit scary with the human hair. What the hell is going on here? We saw this in the taxi and I couldn't film it. I almost just got hit by a truck. There is not a zebra crossing here, okay? But just look at this temple and the detail that's gone into it. Look at that. That's, that is amazing. Okay, let me stand still and film it rather than crossing a busy road. How much detail has possibly gone into building that? Look at the layers. There's so much. I have no idea what it's made out of, but that is next level. Look at the lion there. Oh, oh. A bit of education for you. This is the temple, and I'm not even going to attempt to read that out, but if you like to educate yourself, then feel free to pause the video. Wow, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful inside. Look at that. We've actually turned up here at the perfect time because everything's just starting to close. So, mm. great success. Oh. We're all just quickly saying goodbye to Harry. We're heading off tomorrow to our next destination. Lydia and Lydia's mum and Deb are traveling home and Harry is staying here in the madness that is Singapore. Oh. I'm bloody knackered. I think, honestly, might as well be put on a, you know, the torture st stretch racks. That, that, I, I was not limber enough and nimble enough to be put on that bungee jump and it just extend me by an extra three feet. Oh. So long, farewell, I'll be the same goodbye. <laughs> what Lydia was saying at the end of that clip then is Tom's desperate to come back. And honestly, I am like, I've loved coming into the city, having food and all that sort of stuff and it's been so good to just be immersed in the culture but when you can do something like throw yourself off the edge of a location and survive i'm all for it do you know what's so funny i feel like when we planned this trip we were both like gosh we're going away for a very long time and then because oh. we've done so many stops like everywhere we've gone we've been like should we stay here a bit longer? Yeah, seriously. Or should we stay here a bit Because you lose the fact that you you lose a day in and out. Yeah. But I mean, I wanted to see so many different people. Yeah. And it's been perfect, but I do feel like it's left me like, can we yeah. come back? Can but we come back? It's good though that, like, I've always said that I like going in somewhere and not overstaying it. Like, right, get me out of here. I'm bored of it. Yeah. I like going to somewhere and going, right, I know the lay of the land. I know where I want to go next. Yeah. I, wanna, I know what I'm going to avoid. I know what I'm going to eat. You know, yeah. like obviously try new stuff, but I love 
Yeah. Just getting immersed in it just that little bit. I know. Before I like going back well, and committing to a proper holiday. Like my mum has been like this is the third time and she's so chilled because she's done it all before so she's not like, oh I've missed this, I've missed that, whereas we're still a bit like, we didn't do that, we didn't do yeah. that, we didn't do that. Whereas she's like, should we do that again? Oh, I don't know, we've missed it this time, but I'll do it next time. Like, she's so chill, isn't she? He's only five months old. The amount of traveling we're actually going to do with him for the rest of his life is going to be nuts. I oh, know. Hey, and I've seen the comments. People are like, man, this this baby is more traveled than me. And I'm like 40 in the comments. And all I can say to that is, he, he's more traveled than me to the point I was like 20 years old. So I was like him. I was well travelled from being little because I always Yeah, your family, family just abroad. took you with you, didn't they? And I have family but, abroad, so obviously yeah. my grandma and grandma were in Hong Kong and then my auntie was in auntie and uncle were in um, LA. Uh, oh. So we were we were going there well -traveled. And stuff when we were when we were little. Seriously. And the thing is, Lyd's mum used to travel with the three kids, Harry B and Lyd, just by herself sometimes to these countries. Yeah. It's a handful with me, Lydia, like you're incredible of Lydia having to deal with just us two, let alone, imagine two other kids. I don't know. <laughs> it's like super woman, honestly. Super woman. I don't want to be without you, like. Oh, it's coming Honestly. I know you think it's granted, but you're so, the fact that you've always made sure everything's together and you've got it all, and all I have to worry about is me and Alfie. Yep. Couldn't, like, I couldn't do it without you. I'll get us from A to B. You make sure we actually get to A. <laughs> safe and sound and healthy and we've done it we've done it but we're now walking back to the main road where i think we might actually end up getting the train back here we were going to get a taxi back to the hotel but it's looking like we're all going to get the train back home the train. yeah it is the train it's like 40 minutes by train on 10 5 minute taxi so as we walk past the toilet shop <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the next clip where we're at the sink shop we've managed to walk all the way to this train station no problem until the very last minute where This fan just won't stop following us. Get me into the AC and get me home. I'm knackered, I'm absolutely exhausted. I think a combination of just everything that I've done today has tired me out and I am I'm ready for bed. Usually it's a point where this round, I'm usually like, we're doing this, we're doing that, bam, 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 bam. You know, like bouncing off the wall sort of thing. Ready for the next adventure, but I think it's safe to say this travel has definitely caught up with me. Check this guy out. Hey, <laughs> he was staring at me the entire time I was talking to my phone, but yeah, I am. I'm knackered and I am ready for bed. <laughs> You're a little chomper too, aren't you? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'd just like to clarify our son is A-OK. -okay. <laughs> I love that we're sat here watching Austin Powers Gold Member at like midnight right now. Rather than packing our bags, which we need to do, we're just sat here watching this. And at the same time, we've kind of just took it upon ourselves that we are flying to a new country today and we do not have a hotel booked. And we need to book one because we probably won't even get let in the country without having like an address of where we're going. So, um, yeah, we're trying to solve that problem as well. But I'm exhausted. <laughs> and this, this show is too good, so I'm kind of distracted. Oh, eight hours later, Lydia has packed her side of the bags. I'm laying in bed because I was up till two o'clock in the morning trying to get the vlog go live. Oh, the dedication to the game. And I was like, oh, I wonder if it's a good day to catch a little bit more sun before we leave. And if you look out onto the weather, it is, that's not the ocean. That is just pure miserableness and greyness. Unfortunately. But right, I've got to get up. It's half past 10. We are flying. I thought we were flying at like 9am. Look like we're not. Um, we are flying at 2pm. So I've got to get everything thrown into my bag. Make sure everything's sorted. Make sure everything's charged. Um, and be at the airport uh, two and a half hours early. Usually I would never do that because I don't check bags, but 
Um, traveling with a child and traveling in suitcases now, you have to be prepared. And I know I should have packed this all last night, but honestly, I think I was talking to uh, Ryan who edits these videos about it, but honestly, I think if I was to describe it, I feel like I've got a full body flu. Like my body's like, Ugh, which I don't like. I think I had sunstroke as well from when I just got my, my forehead absolutely burnt. So that's absolutely great. Then I'm exhausted from the gym, which is just, you know, fun, pushing myself too much. Uh, and then last but not least, the stuff with Alfie, I think I was just emotionally drained. So yeah, it's been a lot of things combined at the end of this trip just to knock me out. And I'm just really tired. Oh yeah, and lack of sleep. I'm going to bed at like two o'clock in the morning. No, three o'clock in the morning. And then getting up at, at nine, just having the most restless night's sleep. I've loved this hotel, but those pillows are like concrete. So yeah, I'm ready to relax. So our next destination we're going to, I think we're right in saying Lid. Are we going to try and relax? We're gonna hopefully try and relax. Cause I did book somewhere. So you're gonna have to wait and find out as to where we're going, what we're doing. And that's all I'm gonna say. So do us a favor, make sure you click that subscribe button, ding down that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on, oh, is it gonna be, I'll see you on Monday now. I'll see you on Monday at 7 p.m. for what is most likely potentially gonna be a mega vlog. So I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna leave you and I'll catch you guys in the next one. But Singapore has been amazing. And I just need to give a shout out to all the Singaporeans. That's the right word. Um, because in the comments of me posting that I've been in, there's been so many people being like, oh, Tom, I'm from Singapore, or I've been to Singapore, and everything like that. So good to see you here. Like, thank you so much. It's been lovely. Um, and I've really enjoyed my time here. I'm just knackered. And I need to go back to bed. But I've got shit to do. So, I'm going. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram. We've got the announcement coming of the holiday giveaway from Dubai soon. I'm just talking to the staff there. Um, I think, is it, was it Eid? Yeah, Eid. So, there was holidays, so kind of delayed things. Um... But yeah, we've got the announcement of the holiday giveaway for Dubai. So I'm just saying, if you don't follow me on Instagram, we've got that. And I didn't really clarify this in yesterday's vlog, but we are indeed giving away a 16-inch Razer laptop, a brand new laptop, because um, that was the whole funny thing about the skit with Razer is that all these years of me stealing them, uh, they finally given me one to give away. So actually, they were going to give me one, but I was like, I don't need it. I'll give it to you guys. So yeah, make sure you follow me on Instagram on screen now, at Syndicate. That's dead simple. Go and follow me, and uh, I'll announce uh, any further details coming up soon. But yeah, I really need to stop stalling, talking to your faces, and go. So until next time, thanks for watching. I appreciate you joining in to the Singaporean Adventures. As always, I saw you. Awesome.